In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to be breaking down a little concept that I really, really, really like this year, um, especially as it pertains to cover three defense, which I have been getting a ton of cover two defense in this year's game and i want to share this with you now if you've never met me before my name's cody and welcome to my youtube channel uh basically i call it madden 21 tips and tricks because what i try to do is i try to give you guys uh, as many madden 21 tips and tricks as i possibly can different tips and strategies um different concepts that things that are going to help you get better at this game and so uh, i do that through posting four times a day here on youtube so if you want to get four free tips every single day on youtube uh related to madden 21 i'd encourage you to go ahead and click subscribe we have run defenses we have bombs against every single defense in madden 21 we have uh, different running schemes different passing schemes this play right here and really this concept in general is very, very effective uh, for beating cover three defense in Madden 21. So I want to jump right into it. It's fake screen will. It comes from the trio offset. This is found in the uh, gun spread playbook, but it can be found in other playbooks as well. And it's generally a concept. It's basically the idea of having a wheel route paired with a streak route. We're going to jump right into this real quick. Now, the only thing that I'm going to do and the only thing suggestion that I have is I would run this to the wide side of the field. So if you're on the right side, you want to run it on the right hash you want to run the route combination to the left if you're on the left hash you want to run the route combination to the right literally all i'm going to do on this play is i'm going to take shepherd and i'm just going to put him on either a fade or on a streak and what you're going to see is he is going to absolutely torch uh cover three defense as you can see right there basically what comes what what's going to happen is, and you can put him on a streak too if you want. What's going to happen is Devontae Adams is going to basically account for that deep third on the left. And then you can literally just, I mean, you can lob it right up over the top of the defense. And as you can see, that safety just can't quite get there. Um, that's just the bottom line. He can't really get there. Even if they drop a linebacker, let me show you that real quick. So if they, let's say they drop like, like let's say they drop uh, their middle linebacker into a deep third. You're going to see here, he's dropping into the deep third. He's still not going to be able to get there. And you're still going to be able to beat cover three over the top for a one play touchdown this is a great little concept here uh in my opinion it just does a really really good job now let me show you the cover three flipped this is going to be their best chance at stopping this so i'm just going to flip the cover three so that the deep blue comes from the right guy but as you can see right there you see how with the with the fake screen and this is why i like the fake screen for this the fake screen is basically going to kind of hold that deep third so that he doesn't get back. You see, now, for whatever reason, you know, and in, in, in take Dime 4146 out of this and take the pressure out of this because, to be quite honest with you, there's just no, like, this pressure that he's able to get is completely unrealistic. It's not going to happen in-game. This is completely shed pressure. Again, all I'm doing is putting that slot receiver on a streak, just route combination right here. And what you're going to see here is as long as we can block this up, this thing is going to roast this thing is going to roast cover three i mean it's literally going to roast cover three and the one thing that you can experiment with a little bit and i'm going to leave this up to you to choose which one you want to do because there's pros and cons to both of them but i actually really do like the fade but as you can see here the fade doesn't get there fast enough and the deep blue is able to get there and on and on and on now one thing you could do on this play is if you take if you take Vada scantling here maybe you put him on something like that uh, or that that simple streak on that and then you basically kind of run it just like this and kind of get him out of the play Basically or just throw him on a slant route You know, you could do whatever you want with Marquez got a scantling on this But what you'll see is they're gonna go to that wheel and then you're gonna be able to get that ball to Shepard But what I would recommend highly is I would just leave Shepard on a streak and I would literally just okay we've got it burned and for whatever reason the the practice mode sheds are just coming back to bite me here. But if you guys have not joined the text message membership, I would highly, highly encourage you to do so. As you can see right there, that shepherd is wide open. I just, for whatever reason, good old Dime 146 has the magical pressure. Um, for whatever reason, Madden has, you know, basically given it the, the title as the glitchiest formation in Madden history. Because for whatever reason, pressure just happens from it. But there you see, that's what I'm talking about. The cover three gets burned. And like I said, you know, most of the time, barring fluke, you're not going to get this kind of shed. You're not going to get this kind of like this kind of craziness right now. And what I would do is just, you know, ID whoever slide left, you know, with this just to kind of be safe. Uh, but you'll see right there able to beat that cover three 
over the top for a one-play touchdown. Now, if you haven't joined the text message membership yet, I would highly, highly encourage it. That is a way that you can get a free Madden tip every single week just sent to your cell phone. Again, it's completely free to sign up for, and you do get my contact information out of it. Uh, my number is 812-216-3644, so just shoot me a text. It's in, the, it's in the top left screen of every video that I do. It's also in the description of all my videos. I'd love to connect with you via text if we haven't already met, and I'd love to be able to not only give you weekly tips through the text membership, but also be able to answer any questions you have. So if you have Madden questions, if you have video suggestions, that's the best way to communicate with me, and that's the best way to let me know what's going on in your world so that I can try to provide some type of tip or some type of video that might be able to help show you or help break something down. So um, as you guys have suggestions, as you guys have questions, be sure to let me know. Um, that's the best way to be able to do that. If you are looking to join a franchise mode for, for uh, PlayStation 4, my franchise mode is starting up. We have uh, our draft is on this Wednesday at 8 o'clock. Um, so just text me and let me know if you guys want more information on that. If you want to join it, it is cash prizes. We're going to be giving out, I think, uh, over $200 in cash prizes to people for different things throughout the CFM. More information on that to come. But um, just really, really excited to jump into that with you guys. A lot of the guys from the Discord will be in there. And if you haven't joined our Discord yet, I'd highly encourage that as well. That link is in the description. We'll see you on tonight's live stream. We stream every single night around 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. The only times we don't stream when it's 10 at 10 o'clock is if there's a football game on. Obviously, with Sunday Night Football going on tonight, we'll probably just... You know, I'd ask that you just stay tuned to the Discord, but more than likely, as soon as the Sunday night football game is over, we'll jump on and we'll stream for a few hours and play uh, Madden 21 with members that way. Uh, get a lot of good matchups there. We don't just, you know, I, I personally don't think it's that much fun, honestly, to just play randoms and play regs and whatever, but what we do is we play members. So if you want to be on stream, just jump on the Discord, let me know. We can jump into a game. But anyways, guys, I really appreciate your support. Hopefully this video kind of showed you a little tip or a little strategy of something that you can do to really torch Cover 3 uh, in this year's game. And Cover 3, I think a lot of people, you know, the general routes that beat man, they don't do that great against Cover 3. And so a lot of people are shifting to kind of a Cover 3 man-to-man, uh, -man, Cover 3, Cover 1 hybrid coverage. But what you're seeing right here is, I mean, we're very, very consistently able to torch Cover 3 in this year's game. So I want to thank you for watching today's video. Hopefully this helped you. We'll see you tonight on stream. Text me. Let me know what's up. We'll see you.